good day friends it is me hl my tech and i'm back with another lesson today we're gonna make the unicorn dude but today i'm gonna do it using a keyboard just like you are on the chromebooks so my friends let's get cracking all right friends so the first step is to visit tinkercad and then i hit sign in and then we're gonna sign in using google when Tinkercad launches for the first time, you'll be in this tutorial. You can do that if you choose, but I'm gonna tell you, I want you to go back to the main Tinkercad button and simply hit create new design for our lesson. Our lesson is gonna be called Unicorn Dude, so click up on this box, backspace, and type Unicorn Dude, or if you wanna do it shorter, I'm gonna use UD, and then I'm gonna put my initials MDH. And I'm going to put a 5 because I've made many, many, many of these. And then click somewhere else to make that permanent. All right, so now that we're in Tinkercad, you can see that my keyboard has the exact same rig as you guys. I've got a little touchpad that I can move with, and we need to grab our first shape. So I'm going to go down to the edge of this and find the icosahedron. I'm going to click and drag that out. This important technique I want to show you is holding down Shift. So see how this finger pushes Shift? And then I'm gonna click and grab that red handle and I want you to stretch it up into the 70s, maybe 80s. I'm gonna actually go 80. With that in place, I wanna put a unicorn horn on this face. There are many faces here, I wanna pick one. And by picking the face, I click the word work plane, I move over and when I click, that means the next part I drop on here will land at that exact spot. So we need to slide up and I want to find the cone. Once again, push in the mouse button and drag the cone out. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge that cone into place wherever I want. I'm also going to look at it using the sweet view cube. This lets us see things from different spots. There's front. I like the corner for this part of the project. I'm going to go one to the right. We're not worrying about perfection, we're just worrying about having fun. Speaking of fun, if I look at it from this corner, it gives us a good view of the horn's height. I am going to make it a little skinnier by doing that shift and drag uh, trick again. And now without holding shift, I'm going to just stretch, so notice this hand is not touching the unicorn horn out there a little ways. I don't want to go much bigger than 50 because it gets in the way later, but you can go whatever you pick you'll find later that you may have made a good choice or a bad choice. To go back to our old work plane, we click the work plane once and click this blue edge. I'm also gonna to switch to that top corner view and it's time to add eyes to our sweet little unicorn. We're gonna add the eyes by once again hitting work plane and switching to this flat part of the project. Move on down and find the half sphere because that is a good shape for the eye. Once again, click, hold, and drag that little critter out. We want to make it a lot smaller, so you'll see I am going to press the shift. I'm going to hold it in, and I'm going to squeeze it down, and I want to go to size 8 or size 9. I'm going to make it the color white. And then I'm also going to use a sweet thing called Fit View to zoom right into the exact part. When I look at it from the other corner, I'll be able to see how thick it is easily. So see, this would be the thickness measurement. Right now it is four millimeters. I wanna change it to three millimeters. So I click and I press enter and it goes to three. Notice it raised up. I'm gonna do D to drop it to the work plane. If I go back to that front corner, you will see that that is a decent looking white part of an eyeball. Let's use the paraboloid to do the black part of the eyeball. Once again, we've still got the work plane. We're going to hold the mouse button in and drag that out. It'll be huge. We need to make it black. I'm going to fit it view so it zooms out to the exact size. And that lets me hold shift and then push in one of the handles. And I want to go all the way down till it's size 5. So I'm going to type the box in 1, and it'll do them all to that size. Now here's what's really neat. Because we typed those numbers, it actually fits the exact way we want. Those arrow keys let me nudge it into place. If I do fit view, I can get a better look at it. 
we look at it from a corner, you could change its thickness if you decide that that's poking out too far. You can adjust it so that it looks a little different. I'm going to change mine to 4 just because I can. And then I'm also going to do D to drop it because it popped up off that work plane. Sometimes it won't do that to you. All right, friends, we have been rotating with the view cube, but you can also do it with your keyboard. If you press in control and the button and then drag on your touchpad, you can rotate around your cool project to see it from different angles. I like what we've done with the eye, so I'm going to click it once. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click the eyeball. Notice it says two shapes selected and we want to group them. When we group, it turns to one color. Watch this though. If we click solid and we choose multicolor, boom, you get both your colors back. I'm going to do that control shift and drag so I can see it from the front. I'm going to zoom out with the minus key and then I'm going to do duplicate. Now I'm going to make sure I still have it selected. When I hit duplicate, you saw it blink, and if you use the arrow keys, it nudges over just like you would expect. If you've got your grid set smaller like we had it at point 0.1, make sure you set it back to 1. Let's click on that eyeball, and let's move it over so that it looks like it should. If you want a third eyeball, check it out. You can just hit duplicate again, and then move it back to the other location just like you'd want. It's up to you how you want to build those. Let's real quickly on this same location add a nose. I'm going to do it with the pyramid. Once again, click, hold, drag. It is huge. You can see I can hold down shift and I'm going to grab a corner while pressing in the mouse button and shrink it down to a size I like. And then I'm just using the arrow keys to nudge it into the spot that I think my nose should be. And I'm also going to pick a nosy color, which can be any color you pick because it's just for fun. Green nose, here we come. I want to add a quick smiley face on the face piece as well. I'm going to do that with an amazing tool called the scribble. When you click scribble, you've got to drag it out just like we did a moment ago. And then I'm going to simply draw a little smile. Add the little smile pieces. Now, as you can see, I am holding in and dragging. It is hard to do it perfect. So don't worry too much about perfection. Just have fun with it. If you ever don't like what you did, you can clear it. If you ever want to go back to where it was, you can redo and undo. You could also erase. So say if this little corner bugged me a little bit, I could click on it and erase that little nub. I'm going to call it done. And you can see that that doesn't quite fit. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it a little bit. And then once again, I'm going to hold down shift. And I'm going to squish it till all the measurements change the way I want. There's shift, hold, and squish. I like that, but it's too thick. I'm gonna hold this button in and I'm gonna just push it to the number that I think is cool. I'm gonna make it a pink. And then I'm gonna align it with just a couple little nudges. And let's pop out and take a look at this dude from a distance, if we hit home view, that is a pretty cool unicorn with a face. We've got to remember though, to set the work plane back down to the ground. Real quickly, let's add some sweet shoes. My friends, once again, we are gonna go over to the basic shapes, scroll down and bring out a half sphere. When you bring out this half sphere, grab one of those black handles and stretch it crazy long so it looks like a silly clown shoe. I'm going to pick a silly color just because it's kind of fun. I'm going to go with yellow clown shoes. And then I'm going to use that duplicate again. Once again, you could do control D. And then I'm going to go to this rotation handle and I'm going to push it in and rotate it 22 and a half or 45 or whatever degrees you want. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge that where it looks pretty cool to me. So those are two shoes and then I'm going to group them. So once again, I am holding shift and dragging a box that touches both of them. If you look up here, it says two shapes and I can hit group so they become one piece. I'm going to now shift drag them underneath my unicorn dude. And if we look at them from that front corner, 
you can see his feet are aimed the opposite of his head. We can fix that with the rotation handle. If we move way away, it does one degree at a time. If we go in close to the shape, it uses those nifty little tick marks. You can do whichever version you want. I'm going to go out here so that my shoes are pointed sort of forward, and I'm going to call it good. If you decide you want your shoes a little larger, you can push in the button, you can stretch them. I did not do the shift stretch because I like them custom. Shoes are kind of funny that way. They can look a little bit different. It's no big deal. We want to put the ears on the side of his little icosahedron head. We're going to do that with the work plane. Click on the side of his head. You can use a round roof. These are pretty nifty for this. You can notice they come out the wrong angle. But what's nice is if you look at it from that corner or from that side, whichever you pick, you can find that rotation handle. And when you click and rotate, notice I'm touching the blue, so it goes one, uh, 22 and a half degrees at a time. It is super easy to line it up. If I move the mouse way away, it goes one degree at a time. Notice I'm getting close, but if I stay right on the shape, so see how I'm touching the blue? It just snaps right to those 90s. And then I can use the black handle to squish it in so it looks like the ear I want. Notice the size is four and the size is 20. If I look at this from the front and decide I like it, then I can do the exact same thing on the other side. If you want to make yours kitty wampus, I am fine with that too. Once again, I'm going to do that control drag so I can see this side. I'm going to set the work plane over here. Let's bring out that new round roof. Notice you can click and just bring the piece out as well. I like to click and drag, but both are acceptable. There's my rotation handle. Watch this. I'm going to type 90 in the box. It rotates automatically. And remember that measurement was size 4? Bam. If you want to be perfect in an instant, that is the way to do it. And now we've got two ears. Always remember to set your unicorn's work plane back down by hitting work plane and clicking on the original work plane. All right, so real quickly, let's grab everything. I'm holding shift and I'm drawing a box that touches the entire dude. Notice there are 10 shapes. Yours may have a couple more or a couple less. And I'm going to hit duplicate. Now that new one is in that exact spot. So you can see I'm going to use the arrow keys to move him to a new spot. If you make a mistake, just delete the oops and start again. I'm going to do undo, which is this little button up here, because I do want to keep both of them. Now I'm going to grab this entire dude. Now watch this trick. Because I'm only touching his parts, I'm not touching any of this one, it still says shapes 10, I can hold down shift. I'm going to zoom out so I can see perfectly. And now when I hold down shift, I'm going to shrink him all the same amount. So all of a sudden I've got a little baby unicorn dude. Of course, if you've got unicorns and unicorn dudes, you should give them different colors. We also get to add cool things to decorate them. Let me show you where the awesome decorations are. These are a ton of fun, and using these work planes and things, you can get them right where you want. We're going to go to the characters and check it out. There are hands. I'm going to bring out a piece hand, and I'm going to put it close to this dude. Notice if I wanted to touch this spot. I'm going to use that work plane. I'm going to click the spot, and here's another magic key. If you hit the letter D, it drops it to that spot. D drops to that spot, and then because that work plane is there, you can use the up arrow to just move it into location. I'm going to put the other hand on the other side. Let's do it like this. I'm going to hit work plane first. I'm going to come over here to this side right here, and because I have the work plane, now when I click the hand and move out where I want to put it, Boom, Unicorn Dude has a hand. I'm going to set the work plane back to the ground. Let's look at him from the front and see what he looks like. That hand is a little kitty wampus, so let's hold down Shift and rotate it so now it looks like the angle we'd want that hand to be. I still don't know if I like that either. Let's see if this rotation is better. 
That looks more like the hand we were looking for. You could add all kinds of scribble arms. You can add scribble pieces to all these guys. They're amazing hats. I'm going to bring out this hat real quick and just set it down here. I'm going to hold down shift so that it can shrink all at the same amount. And then this is another magical key. If you do control up, it'll raise it up. So you can put it on your unicorn head, uh, unicorn baby's head. Let's click on the unicorn baby's body and we'll zoom to that exact size and see what it looks like from a corner. That is pretty darn sweet. Let's do that sweet control shift rotation and you can double check and see if it does exactly what you want. You can stretch these one piece at a time. You can do control down to sink them in. Whatever you want as you make your little unicorn people way more awesome and add all kinds of cool parts to your sweet unicorn project. Friends, it is time to add our names to this project. I want you to do that real simply by going back to the basic shapes. I want you to bring out the roof. When you set the roof down, I want you to stretch it till it's 60. I like to type in the number because that way it's faster and press enter. I want you to click on that shape and I want you to hold down the button and rotate it 90 degrees. And then I want you to click the word work plane again and I want you to put it on that little spot. That's where we're going to add your name with the sweet text button. When you bring out your text, you'll notice it's huge. We're going to fix that by backspacing and putting our name in the box, picking a cool color, and then this is really important, choose a height of two so that way it doesn't stick out a million miles. Just press enter and it'll shrink. And then the next adjustments, this is also important, use the black handle. It's so easy, just squish it so it fits that way, squish it so it fits this way, and you are good to go. Put your work plane back down to the ground level and it is time to get a screenshot to turn in. I like to use that control shift drag to get the exact right angle. I like that because you can see my name and you can see all the cool stuff. If you make an oops like I just grabbed that ear, just simply undo and bring it back. If you make sure nothing's selected, it's a perfect time to get a screenshot. To do that for turning in, you simply hit send to and then click the little down arrow. I like to go up to the downloads folder which is at the very top of my quick access. When I hit downloads, I keep the name or like I've done this more than once or twice, I'm going to give it a new name and just hit save. At that point, friends, you can return to classroom and turn it in. Go back to your project. You may hit add. You may go to file. You need to select the file. Once again, you need to go up to your downloads folder and you need to find that file that you just saved. When you click open, it will upload into this area. You finish with an upload. And then once you can see your image up here, you can click turn in and then the project is finally finished. If you ever give me one without the correct one, I will shoot you a note back saying, hey, I need that screenshot. Alrighty friends, so hopefully you've had a ton of fun using Tinkercad. You see here I added some crazy cool hair, some shoelaces and all kinds of stuff. Just using the fun scribble tool. Make yours unbelievably awesome, then make sure you turn in that screenshot to me. Friends, if you enjoyed the lesson, please give it a thumbs up. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.